Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's start at the part 4, chapter 1. How to write the introduction? We know a bad beginnings make a bad endings. So, we should have a better beginnings. Most of the time, it will make a better endings. So, it's important thing for us to do at the beginning is write the introduction for a paper. There are some key points for the introduction. The introduction should tell me why you did the study. Simply, for the introduction part, you should present the conflicting data Knowledge gaps or uncertainties, a lot of this kind of things. Usually, in the introduction part, you should begin with the big picture and let others know that the big picture in your mind. And then, narrow down to your research question. Then, the other, the readers, will know what's your research questions. They will follow your mind. Sometimes, in the introduction, you should cite the key reference and avoid a detailed literature review. Only cite the important or crucial key reference here. The introduction should blend seamlessly with the rest of your paper. The introduction cannot be separate, separated from the rest of your paper. They should blend seamlessly with the rest of your paper. So, for the introduction part, you have to know everything in your paper also. Some guidelines for the introduction. Finally, we now have the preliminary after of the way we come to the paper itself. Some experienced writers prepare their title and abstract after the paper is written. Usually like this. Even though I place this element come first. Although the title and the abstract is come first before the whole uh, the whole papers, a lot of writers will prepare title and the abstract at last. However, you should have in a provisional title and the outline of the paper you propose to write. You should have some some title or the outline of the papers. You should also consider the background of the audience you are writing for, so that you will have a basis for determining which terms and uh, procedures need definition and the description of this not. So, for all the introduction parts, you should uh, have a lot of things in your mind. Consider the background of the audience, or have some the um, provisional title or outline of the papers, then it's ready for write the introduction. Remember, to have a clear purpose in mind, you have to be clear. It's wise to be.